Strange aircraft that hide intriguing secrets, gloomy hangars that have been abandoned for more than five decades, and a commercial aircraft that has become a real curse for the Cambodian air authorities. What we have prepared this time will transform your way of seeing the heights forever. So get ready because you're about to meet seven abandoned aircraft you shouldn't dare to visit. Number 7. Bristol Fighter 170 If you visit Beaver Lodge Lake in Canada, you'll surely discover a beautiful wilderness that can surprise your senses, although one of the most amazing abandoned aircraft in history is located in the middle of the brush and fields of this area. We're talking about the legendary Bristol Fighter 170, an aircraft created during World War II with the purpose of moving troops, weapons, ammunition, and all kinds of material for different strategic missions on European soil. However, just as the aircraft was completed, World War II ended, and the Army was forced to use the 214 aircraft as commercial vehicles. This decision was the beginning of the catastrophe. Out of the 214 commercial aircraft, 68 of them suffered fatal crashes and left hundreds of people missing or dead. It's therefore not surprising that no one was very interested in rescuing the Bristol Fighter 170, which is located in Canada. Apparently, this aircraft was forced to make an emergency landing in a Canadian field in 1956. The crew managed to survive, but no one was interested in rescuing the ship, and it's now in such a state of neglect that it even keeps the curious away. Number 6. Story Without an Ending Some stories related to abandoned airplanes have no meaning or explanation. All of them, without exception, have an ending, but sometimes their beginning isn't clear at all. The best example can be found in the story of Laurent Bernier, a man who was enjoying a quiet day exploring his community in Belgium when he came across an abandoned hangar. It didn't belong to any of the local residents. In fact, the obvious deterioration showed quite clearly that this place had been uninhabited for at least five decades. With great care and caution, Laurent approached the inside of the hangar, and there he found a mysterious aircraft, a ship in poor condition with abundant signs of having been seriously damaged in an armed confrontation. There were fuselages, engines, and tools typical of the First World War, but there wasn't the slightest record left to identify the aircraft in the hangar. A few days later, when the authorities accompanied Laurent, it was discovered that this was a clandestine workshop that had apparently been used during World War I, although its operators never returned to the site. They were most likely killed in the war. For Laurent, it marked the beginning of a half-baked story that haunted him throughout his life. In fact, after entering the hangar, both Laurent and the officers were attacked by strange psychotic attacks. The plane became an obsession for them, and they couldn't stop thinking about this ship for the rest of their lives. This caused that most people didn't want to know anything about this abandoned hangar, and it became one of the forbidden places in the village. Number 5. The Ghost Plane Discovering something that no one else knows about can sometimes become a real curse, especially when the find is nothing more and nothing less than a ghost plane. The crew of this Australian helicopter was on a routine reconnaissance mission over the swamps of New Guinea when a huge metal object caught their attention. It was a Boeing B-17E aircraft, a World War II airplane that was lying completely abandoned in the middle of the bush in the area. Upon landing and analyzing the aircraft, the Australians discovered that it was a very special case. The aircraft was in perfect condition, the machine guns were intact and rusted, the engine was still in place, and except for some natural flaws, it was in good shape. If that was the case, then what had happened? Why was the plane in that location? And most importantly, what had happened to the crew? For several weeks, the case was investigated and the answer soon came. Apparently in 1942, Captain Frederick Eaton Jr. was forced to land in this swamp after being intercepted by a team of Japanese planes. The best solution to avoid being shot down was to take cover in the undergrowth and hide from danger. Unfortunately, we don't know if the officers managed to survive this attack. The story of Frederick and his crew was recorded in aviation records, but they were declared missing. Their bodies were never found, and for this reason, it isn't strange that this abandoned aircraft has become a ghost ship from which we should stay as far away as possible. Number 4. Russian Space Shuttle it's no secret that the Soviet Union and the United States embarked on an obsessive race to reach space. 
The Cold War ended with a clear winner, but in the process, there were numerous chilling experiments and one of them is still quite disturbing. It's a Russian space shuttle Braun, a spacecraft that achieved its first unmanned mission in 1988 and had a second flight planned for 1993, which it was unable to complete. However, the Soviet Union was dissolved and due to a lack of funding, the shuttle was completely abandoned and stored in a hangar that became ruins after an earthquake of medium magnitude in 2002. However, one of Braun's small craft still survives among the ruins in perfect condition. It's believed that it could take off if someone reactivated its operation, but no one dares to go near it. In the last three decades, it has become a symbol of the fall of the Soviet Union and a bitter reminder of the past. No one gets too close to this place, and it's believed that anyone who does is doomed to suffer an agonizing and cruel future. Number 3. A Story of Medellin the following story takes us back to the 1970s when the dreaded Medellin cartel led by drug lord Pablo Escobar was conducting one of its drug smuggling operations on the Norman Island just off the British Virgin Islands archipelago. Apparently that night, Andy, a man who was trying to get close to the cartel, thought he could offer his small C-46 aircraft to Pablo Escobar to help him in his smuggling operations. The aircraft was in order, and he wouldn't have too many problems at any airport as it belonged to the UK commercial flights. The plan seemed perfect. However, Andy had been drinking that night and while piloting the plane, he lost control of it and ended up crash landing on Normandy Island. Much of the plane was rendered useless and another piece of the plane ended up submerged in the water. Andy fled the scene as best as he could and never returned for the plane. 50 years later, the ship is still stranded in the sand and water with no one daring to go near it because of the deep fear that the Medellin cartel inspired back then. Number 2. Secrets in Iraq It's no secret that the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003 with the objective of finding weapons of mass destruction ended very badly. The soldiers failed to find anything that would threaten U.S. security, although that raid did leave us with an unusual find. A U.S. battalion managed to locate a mysterious camouflaged hiding place at the al Takadam Air Base that served as a shelter for approximately 51 aircraft. Most of them were buried under the sand and were MiG-25s, MiG-21s, and Illusion IL-76 battle models, all of which had been marked with cryptographic writing and had apparently been hidden to be used as kamikaze weapons in a secret mission whose objective was never revealed. The mystery of these planes had been kept alive ever since, although there's insufficient evidence to reach any conclusion as to why they were hidden or where they were to crash to accomplish their mission. Number 1. Hanoi Airport Can a plane become a headache? The operators of the Hanoi Airport in Cambodia can answer this question with a resounding yes. Since 2007, this airport has lost approximately $800,000 for having the famous Royal Khmer Airlines Boeing 727-200 aircraft in its hangar. The plane needed some technical repairs to fly again, but it coincided with the airline's bankruptcy, which left this aircraft completely adrift. Now, after more than a decade, Hanoi Airport is looking for a suitable way to get rid of the annoying tenant. Auctioning the ship or selling it hasn't turned out to be an easy road at all. Most people have tried to obtain it through hilarious exchanges. Some have offered endowments of candy and beer for several years in exchange for the aircraft, but such a deal doesn't seem to have pleased the Hanoi authorities. For this reason, the aircraft could be sold for approximately $73,000 to the highest bidder. The price is far below the real value of this aircraft, but the curious thing is that no one seems interested in it. As if it were an airport curse, no bidder is willing to invest their money in a plane that hasn't taken off for a long time and everything seems to indicate that they are going to be forced to dismantle the plane or keep it without being able to return it. As we've seen, aviation is a world full of stories and tales that can be intriguing, to say the least, but these facts are nothing compared to the chilling testimonies recorded by numerous passengers when the plane takes off and they find themselves in imminent danger at altitude. If you'd like to know the true face of terror and discover the secrets hidden in the heights, then follow us to the cockpit and prepare to be completely horrified.